Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show, The Christian Business Connection. You know, I got to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will, I must, I have to rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what, my friends, no matter what, I give God the glory for today. I want to say thank you for everyone who attended the celebration of women in healthcare. It was simply an exceptional event. We give God the glory. Thank you to all of the wonderful vendors who were there, all the folks who came through. Let me tell you, God bless my sponsors. Thank you so much. Thank you to Home State Health. Thank you to Computer Village. Thank you to Apostle Frank Bio Ministries. We had a great time in the Lord. Oh, my goodness. That's all I can say is, oh, my goodness. Stay tuned to the website of thecbcradioshow.com for all of our upcoming events so you can be a part of the fantastic things that God is doing. Thank you, everyone, again. And I also want to say thank you so much to my to my friends, to, to everyone who has reached out in regards to the loss in our family family of our beautiful Marquia Lewis, my niece. We just thank you so much, Marquia, the daughter of my sister, Elder Gwendolyn Doss. We just, we can't say enough on thank you to everyone who has reached out to us in the loss of our angel. We just give God the glory for her and she is with the Father, no doubt about it. We bless God. We bless God for the exceptional life and extraordinary extraordinary life of Marquia Renee Lewis. Thank you so much. My sister thanks you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much. Well, friends, our guests today are, well, they're just great. They're just great. We always have the best guests right here on the CBC radio show. We have on the program this morning our CBC September author of the month, Apostle Frank Bio, talking about our featured book this month, Allah is Not Our God. He's here with us today, and this is our last interview with Apostle Bio on this September, and he has just been fantastic. We also have on the program Bishop Prentice Thomas, and he's going to be talking about the Celebration City Miracle Monday Crusade tomorrow night, so you don't want to miss that. We also have on the program Mrs. Cheryl Jackson, who is the president of The Breakfast Club. We're talking about The Breakfast Club and the upcoming annual, seventh annual Sister Strut. She's going to be a blessing. And then we're going to be talking with Miss Lydia Douglas, who is the October CBC Author of the Month. She'll be talking about her book, Taking Care of Business, information family members should know. So we have a packed, blessed program today as usual. If you would like to be interviewed on the CBC radio show about your business, your ministry, your upcoming event, well, Go to the website, thecbcradioshow.com, or call us at 314-270-2225. Well, we're going to take a break, and when I come back, we're going to be talking with the September author of the month, Apostle Frank Bio. I'll be right back. Bishop Prentice Thomas inviting you to our Miracle Monday Crusade at Christian Grove Center, 1200 North 41st Street. My God, in East St. Louis, Illinois, host Pastor Dr. Long. Service start at 6 p.m. Here are some testimonies to encourage you. My name is Eva Thomas, the wife of Bishop Prentice Thomas. God healed a condition in my neck. I had, um, I didn't have the C curve in my neck and that I am more than 60 years old and I'm still alive. God is, God has healed me. The bishop, he prayed for me and um, I just want to thank God because today I am, I'm pain free in my back area. Hello, my name is Elder Duan Gilmore. Bishop, I am just pray for me and God healed me from HIV and AIDS and I do have the paperwork to prove it and I do thank God for the miracle that God has performed in my body. If you have to hitchhike on a mosquito, borrow your daughter's skateboard, jump outside on a bumblebee, you need to be in this service. The number to call for more information is 314-261-4348. I'll see you there. 
Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophet is Nona Thomas, and I tell you, friends, we are so excited about what God is doing with our CBC Author of the Month. You know, all month we've been talking about the book by Apostle Frank Bio entitled Allah is Not Our God. So we want to continue that discussion with Apostle today. He is in the studios here at the CBC Radio Show. So I want to say good morning and welcome, Apostle. Good morning, Prophetess, and how are you this this beautiful day. This is the, well, you know, I'm taking it away from you. Okay. This is a wonderful day. And because it's a wonderful day, what would you say, Apostle? This is the day that the Lord has made. <laughs> I choose to rejoice and to be glad in it. That's it. You know, really, you, it's a choice, isn't it? Yes, it is. You have to make a choice that no matter what, this is a day that God created. He's sovereign and praise his name. Yes, he is. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. This is just a glorious day. And I know that the Lord has great things in store for us. He does. He does. Uh, I want to get right to it and talking about your book. Allah is not our God. You know, we've hit on so many different topics um, in this past month. And uh, it's so timely. Yes. Uh, you know, the book and the events that are happening right now, there's so Something that recently happened that I want you to touch on that I think would be a continuation in us talking about the book. Well, you see, the thing is this. We have to understand that Israel, uh, the Temple Mount, happens to be the most valuable, desired piece of property on planet Earth. Mm. Because we have actually three religions that basically are focused around that point. Mm -hmm. You've got Christianity, you've got Judaism, and then you have Islam. Mm -hmm. And all of them are focused in on that particular site for different reasons, but nevertheless, to them, it's a very, very holy site. And the fact is that Christianity and Judaism, even though there are some differences in regards to Christ, they still we still are monotheistic, in other words, serving a one God, yes. if you will. However, Islam comes from a different perspective, and Islam, what it's trying to do is it's going back to its original concept of world domination, almost to the point of eradicating societies. And we're seeing that even right now as we speak in the Middle East, where the radical Muslims are now going after and targeting Christians yeah. as the Nazis did during the Second World War with the Jews. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the fact still remains is the purpose of the book is to give understanding and to bring light that in spite of the fact that we hear that Islam is a peaceful religion, it is far from that. And the fact is that we have to understand that I can go to you and I can share with you Christ, or I can share with a Jewish person about Christ and other different religions, but the fact is, and the choice is accepting or rejecting on the part of the hearer. Yes. However, on in Muslim, in the Islam, Islam faith, if you do not agree with them, you are automatically an enemy. And according to the Quran, and I present this in the book, that if you do not agree with them, then you will be put to death. And what's so amazing about that, you know, uh, in the times that we are in right now, we're led to believe that, you know, we're all just one big, you know, it's just it's one God. It's all peaceful, this, that and other. But it, that's not that's not the truth. No, it's not. Because you see, the thing is this. There is a mentality or a mindset in the Christian communities. And I, I include all denominations in that, mm -hmm. that there are a number of evangelicals that are now saying that. Uh, for an individual to go to heaven, all paths lead to the same God, which is not true, because Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father but by me.
me. That's right. See, the other thing, too, according to Islam, Islam, uh, Allah, had no offspring. So there's no grounds for redemption. Mm -hmm. All it is is judgment. You see, Mm -hmm. our God, in spite of the fact that he is a God of judgment, he's also a God of mercy and love. Bless him. Yes. You see? Yes. See, and he sent us his only begotten son. So there are already, right from the onset, there are major differences. Mm -hmm. And the fact still remains is that in Christianity, under through Jesus Christ, it says, whosoever will. In other words, it's optional. Mm -hmm. God knows what the end result is going to be, but he still gives us the opportunity of accepting or rejecting. According to Muslims and Islam, there is no option. Either you are accepting or you're put to death. You become their enemy. My Lord, my Lord. The times that we're in right now, uh, I believe that um, when the and I always use the word download for you, Apostle, because Mm -hmm. it's 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 like the Lord just downloads this information, this revelation to Mm -hmm. you and how you pin it is absolutely amazing. But where we are right now as these end times, the way things are happening, it's 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 really just step by step biblical uh, written, biblically written on what's going on. I mean, we see exactly everything of the Bible coming to fruition. Exactly. The scripture tells us that Jesus himself said, when you see all of these things come to pass, it says, look up for your redemption draw. So we know that we're at a critical time in world history where Jesus is going to return for a church, Mm -hmm. uh, for those that believe in him Mm -hmm. and will have eternal life. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the point we need to keep in mind is that he gives us that option. He gives us hope. And all other religions do not have hope, you see. Yes. And and that is the key difference. And that's why the Bible says not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. It doesn't mean not to interact with them, but don't get so enmeshed with them right, right. that you can't separate and make rational decisions, you see. Yes. And so that is where the danger is. And now we've seen, and I may have shared this in our last program, Mm -hmm. that, and I'll share this tonight at a place where I'll be speaking at Lighthouse Ministries here in St. Louis, I'm going to be talking about radical Islam. And the important thing is that, especially in the African-American communities, what has happened, radical Islam has targeted major areas of the African-American community. One of them happens to be disenfranchised uh, young men and women, African-Americans that are incarcerated. Mm -hmm. That's one of they. So they're targeting that. There's a big push to that. The second is. Uh, young men and women that are unemployed. In mm-hmm. other words, they don't have hope. They're looking for something, yes, you see. Yes. And so the, uh, radical Islam has targeted them. The other thing, too, is for gang members, because they already have a sense of being part of a group. Mm-hmm. And so they target that. But they're still disenfranchised from society, yes. you see. And then what they're doing is they're actually targeting a whole new section of women now that feel that they are disenfranchised. In other words, they don't feel worth. They don't feel that they're a part of anything and they're looking for something to be connected to, yes, you see. Yes, yes. And then it's going now, we're seeing that in many of the schools in California and across America, they're now starting to teach out of the Quran as young as in the kindergarten ages. Really? So the point is, we're seeing a massive propaganda effort. And then, no, last but not least, it's actually infiltrated in the church. And in this book, Allah is Not I God, I talk about Chrislam, which now has become a merging of Christianity in Islam, and the Bible says light and darkness cannot coexist. Can't be together. Exactly. Can't be together. It, it is, but you know, it's it's the enemy. It's such a, a, a spirit of deception. A, it's it's lies, all right? And so, but I, I would think, and I just have to ask you this, Apostle, um, it has not been, has it been easy uh, 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 teaching this word, and, and, pu- and when you put this book together, I can imagine this is not what the enemy wanted you to do. No, because immediately when I start talking about this, I'm already branded what is called an Islamophobe. Mm -hmm. In other words, looking for uh, that they're all, you know, evil and everything Mm -hmm. like that. I know that there's many, many Muslims that have accepted Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You see, Uh, Arabs, I should say. Okay. And see, and the fact is that there, we have many churches, even in uh, Syria and in Iraq right now, that there are many Christian people that have accepted Jesus Christ as their savior. Mm -hmm. And they're paying the price of martyrdom, which is told to us in 
the Bible. Yes. So the fact is this. I don't look at it as a total negative of uh, depression. I'm looking at a tremendous opportunity that God is now focusing in a whole new group of people yes. that had rejected him as a society in the past are now accepting him. Yes. Glory to God for that. Amen. Because, you know, uh, contrary what I say uh, every now and then, um, Jesus is still coming soon. Yes. You know, we've heard and people tell me, well, you know, my grandmama used to say this and it's been said for so, so many years. Right. But it's true. Yes. The fact is that we have to understand that what has taken place, especially in world events, there's been such a shift that has taken place. Uh, you, you, a person would almost have to be deaf and blind not to know what's going on. See, and the Bible says that in the last t- days there will be perilous times. We're seeing that, yes. and they're getting worse and worse and worse in our inner cities, in our country, in our you know across the globe. We're seeing it rampant and widespread. So the fact is that that's when the Bible says that's when the time when you hear people constantly talking about peace and safety. That is an indicator. That is a very very critical indicator of what is about to take place. My Lord, my Lord. I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in right now, we're speaking with Apostle Frank Bio, who is our Christian Business Connection author of the month for September. And we're talking about his new book, Allah is Not Our God. Apostle, where can we get copies of this book? Uh, online? All of that good information. Well, I have a website. It's called bioministries.org. And you can go on there and you can see my website and you can order. I have a a shopping cart there. As a matter of fact, I have three books that right now that I'm pushing. One of them is uh, The Watchman Sees Book One, then the one we did a couple of months ago, The Watchman Sees Book Two, and now Allah is Not Our God. And it is very exciting. And people, this is, I'm now going into our third printing on Allah, uh, I'm sorry, on The uh, Watchman Sees Book Two. Wow. Wow. It, it is exciting. It really is because it's so relevant. You know, I, I don't know how long ago the Lord uh, dropped all this in your spirit to write and exactly how long it took. But I'm looking at everything that you're writing about. It's it, it's coming to pass or it's already come to pass. Well, in book one, uh, I've had people t- give testimony that 90 percent plus has already come to pass. And that was written in 2012. Wow. Wow. And this this most recent one, uh, Watchman Sees Book Two, seeing beyond what you see, we're already seeing already quite a many quite a few things have now already come to pass. Yes, and uh, it's only going to accelerate from here on in. It's only going to accelerate, and we're looking. It's like it's like watching a newspaper or reading a newspaper, and it's just it's just turning. The pages are just. You just see it. It's just turning. Uh, Apostle, it has truly been uh, an honor. That's the word I have to use, an honor for you being a author, featured author twice here on the CBC radio program. And we're just about out of time. Can, are there any closing words that you'd like to say? In spite of all that's going on, I encourage you. Jesus is the answer to every one of our problems. If you call upon his name, you shall be saved. You'll be delivered. You can be healed. And God is the answer through Jesus. Jesus Christ to all of our problems. So I encourage you, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Seek him while he yet may be found. And I know that he will supply all of your need according to his riches and glory. For he promised it, he declared it. And when God makes a promise, it's a declaration that it will take place. Glory to God. Glory to God. That that settles it. Amen. Amen. (laughs) Amen. Amen. Bless you, Apostle. Thank you for being a part of the CBC radio show. Thank you, Prophetess. I appreciate the opportunity, and I love the people of St. Louis. Amen. Amen. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning. This is Roxy Jones, your independent hair distributor with Peace of Mind Boutique, telling you to give her what she really wants, a peace of mind. I offer 
100% Zen Remy Human Hair Extensions, as well as clip-ins, a multitude of other hair products, as well as wigs. Would you like to be an independent hair distributor yourself? Find out more in becoming a hair independent distributor by contacting the hotline 305-814-0891. That is my hotline. Again, that's 305 814 0891. You can also follow us on Instagram at Peace of Mind Hair 13. That's at P I E C O F M I N D H A I R 13. And give yourself what you really want a peace of mind and achieve the look of a model without the cost. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophet is Nona Thomas and friends. I, I tell you, we are counting the hours mm. down to the Monday Miracle Crusade. Monday Miracle Crusade mm. that is being hosted by Heirs of God Church and Celebration City Ministries. I have with me in the studios my friend, Bishop yeah. Prentice Thomas. Good mm. morning, Bishop. <laughs> Good morning, Evangelist and Prophet of God. We give Jesus the glory for you smiling as you usual. I'm telling you, it's just so awesome to be here in the name of Jesus. It is. We bless him, Bishop. So do I have to ask you the question or are you just going to go and get an answer? What's easier? Oh, this is the day, as you would say, that the Lord has made and we will, it's an act of our will, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Glory no matter what. God. Glory no to ma- God, mm-hmm. no matter yes. what. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. His will is perfect, my God. Perfect yes, will. Yes, and it, yes. it's his perfect will that now we're counting down the hours, really, <laughs> really? to the Miracle Monday Crusade oh, that's going to be tomorrow night at the Christian mm-hmm. Grove Center Church located yes. right there at 1200 mm-hmm. North 41st Street, East St. Louis, Illinois, mm-hmm. where none other than Dr. Pastor Edna Letha mm-hmm. Long mm-hmm. is waiting with open arms oh, to welcome us God. to this crusade. Oh, my God. Yes, all roads are leading right there. And you have time to get ready, get Get your children ready, get whatever. You know, your miracle is in your get up and go. It's in your go ye. Yes, there's oppositions. Yes, there's things that come up or happen to transpire. But your miracle is in your get up and go. It's in your go ye. And this is your appointed time with the Lord to receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. I like Mm -hmm. that appointed time. You know, this wasn't a time actually that you picked. This is Mm -hmm. a time that God picked. Absolutely. All right. And so he is calling his people. He is calling his people. Mm -hmm. This Mm -hmm. Miracle Monday Crusade is Mm -hmm. for your deliverance. And I believe let's just address if we could for a moment. Mm -hmm. Bishop, those who need deliverance in their mind, who are dealing with some some mental issues that Mm -hmm. have become Mm -hmm. oppressive and depressive and suicidal. Let's talk to those people right now. Mm -hmm. Bishop. Absolutely. You know, in the healing and miracle crusades is not just dealing with the healing of cancers and tumors and blindness and all of these things, but uh, it's also concerning when you have, when you've been oppressed by the devil, depressed by the enemy, you're dealing with uh, the depression or there's a split personality or different uh, disorders. Amen. If you come believing God for your miracle, you can receive it. We've had several people mm-hmm. that had uh, these type of situations and God absolutely gave them their miracle mm-hmm. because for with God, nothing shall be called impossible. That's right. That's right. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. So there are people listening right now. You've been going through situations, you know, and you've wondered why, wh- why hasn't this thing manifested? Well, this is the time of manifestation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to come mm-hmm. with an expectancy. Yes. I-, I believe sometimes, Bishop, people will hear so often, well, this is going to happen and this great thing is going to happen. They're like, well, it mm-hmm. hasn't happened yet. Well, this is the season uh, for that. You better watch out. Glory Amen. To Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I have never played with anybody in regards to their ministry. Miracles, their healing, mm-hmm. and, and all of that. And the Lord, when uh, Or Roberts put that gift in, in my hand, now this is a vision, you all. Mm-hmm. Amen. Uh, it not only deals with the healings and the miracles, but it also deals with being gifted, amen, and anointed to know how to put people in the right uh, position mentally and emotionally to receive their miracle. It, it deals with them being able to be 
placed in readiness of mind to receive. And I'll give you an example. When I was in Trinidad doing missionary evangelistic work with my uh, late pastor, my wife's uh, brother-in-law pastors five churches. He did awesome miracles. And I saw when an individual would come up, he would tell them, I want you to believe right now. Don't doubt. Believe right now. Don't doubt. And then they just automatically just put themselves Mm -hmm. in believing, not doubting. Mm -hmm. He lays hands upon them. Glory be to God. He may spin them around. (laughs) <laughs> but anyway, amen. And they received their miracle. Uh, oh, my God. And so God has given me a teaching that will show that the person is in readiness of mind mm-hmm. to receive their miracle. It's mm-hmm. so simple. We make things so complicated. But you can receive your miracle right now in that service. What you say, Bishop? You said readiness of mind. mind. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Readiness of mind to receive their miracle, their healing, their deliverance in the name of Jesus. Once a person know, amen, there are, there are, there are points that I will go through in regards to one of them is dealing with, uh, do you believe that God has power over this sickness or over this disease. Mm. And I give scripture with it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Do you believe that God is in this present world? Mm-hmm. And I give scripture reference to him mm-hmm. being in this present world. Mm-hmm. So we have uh, the ministry tools, the, the teaching that will place a person or help a person get in readiness of mind to receive their miracle. Yes. And Glory you know, the, the doors are opening at six mm-hmm. for this service and then service is mm-hmm. starting at six 30. But even prior to those doors opening, the stage is being set yes, through intercessory is. prayer. Yes, it is. The saints mm-hmm. are praying now Mm -hmm. in preparation Mm -hmm. for this. So when they're Mm -hmm. walking into the Miracle Monday Crusade, the the, the, the atmosphere is already ready for miracle signs and wonders. My God, absolutely. We'll be interceding. Matter of fact, we have another intercessory session tomorrow at Dr. Long's Church at Mm -hmm. 7 Mm o'clock. Amen. And then on that Monday, intercessory prayer will start at 530. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. so the people will be coming in at 6 and at 630. Boom. We're heading off with these awesome testimonies praise and worship because yes. amen uh, there are so many people that have received miracles yes. uh, under this ministry and my point is when the Lord comes in the room amen you will just simply ask him to touch you ask him to deliver you mm-hmm. ask him to heal you mm-hmm. my God and he's going to do absolutely he's, that he's going to do that and as you said there have been so many oh my, my mm-hmm. goodness through the years of your ministry who have mm-hmm. received mm-hmm. healing mm-hmm. and deliverance mm-hmm. and so a little later in the program, we're going to hear a couple of those Mm -hmm. testimonies. Mm -hmm. In addition Mm -hmm. to the fact, Bishop, you know, Mm -hmm. even though you've seen it countless times over and Mm -hmm. over again, how the Mm -hmm. Lord, how you have witnessed the deliverance, Mm -hmm. it's always amazing, isn't it? It absolutely is. Every time. You know, and some people, when they receive their miracle, and then this one lady, when she was uh, delivered, she said, I didn't think it was going to happen so fast. (laughs) You know, amen. He's there. The Lord is comes in the room. I'm not talking about just talking about the Holy Spirit just failed. No, he comes in the room in tangible manifestation. And and if you're aware of him coming in the room, you simply ask him, Jesus, take this out. Jesus, heal me. Jesus, deliver me. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He loves All you so much. All roads are leading. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow night, we're counting down the hours mm-hmm. to the Miracle Monday Crusade. It's going to be at Christian Grove Center Church right mm-hmm. there, 1200 North 41st Street, East St. Louis, Illinois, 62204. Now, Bishop, this is uh, this September crusade. There will be others mm-hmm. that are coming up as well mm-hmm. that you will let us know as we yes. go forth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And so, mm-hmm. and so... The Lord put this back on your heart because this is something you had been doing for my mm-hmm. goodness, for mm-hmm. so long. Yes. And now the Lord has said it's time again. Yes, absolutely. And now we're starting over in Illinois because there, there's there been pastors, wives, and different other ministers and people in general that have been asking me in regards to either coming to their church or doing a miracle crusade mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in Illinois, mm-hmm. uh, preferably right now, East St. Louis. Yes. Glory to God. I'm glad you said that, Bishop, because mm-hmm. um, uh, we're going to give the phone number now because because people can get in contact mm-hmm. with your ministry mm-hmm. if they want this Miracle Monday crusade mm-hmm. to come to their church, to their mm-hmm. state, to mm-hmm. their city. We're, yes. heard, we're heard across the world. So give oh, us mm-hmm. your information, Bishop. The information, the number that they need to call is 314 314- 
214-261-4348. Again, that's 314-261-4348. Or you can email me at prophetprentice at gmail.com. Glory be to God. Amen. And we'll respond. Yes. Expeditiously. Yes. Let me give that information one more time. This is the Miracle Monday, Errors mm-hmm. of God Church and Celebration City Ministries. That mm-hmm. is Christian Grove Center Church right there at 1200 North 41st Street, East St. Louis, Illinois, under the uh, direction of Pastor Dr. Edna Letha Long. And that is tomorrow night, my friends. This open door service is mm-hmm. tomorrow night. Doors open yes, at 6. Yes. And mm-hmm. the service starts at 630. We're just about out of time, Bishop. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that you want to say? I, I, I know you're going to tell him, uh, or you, you know, uh, <laughs> about the, hitchhiking, the method, on a, yes. hitchhiking on a mosquito some, some door. There, there. <laughs> <laughs> the door on a skateboard. But I will say this, that, you know, uh, come with expectation. Expectation is the birth birthplace for a miracle, and you will receive what you're expecting. Just come expecting the Lord to do great and mighty things for you when he comes in the room. Thank hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. Bless oh, you. Oh, I feel the presence Bless of God. Bless you. Yes. Glory oh, to God. Oh, glory Thank be you so to God. much for being on the program. Yes, man. For us today, Bishop, tomorrow night, mm-hmm. Christian Grove Center, 1200 North, 41st Street, East mm-hmm. St. Louis, Illinois, the Miracle Monday Crusade. Thank you, Bishop <laughs> Prentice <laughs> Thomas, for being on the program today. No, thank you. I always count it a privilege and an honor to be around my evangelist and prophet, Nona Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, my friends. Now, look, yeah. you got to stay tuned because you're going to hear that testimony mm-hmm. that was that is going to be given from two folks who are going to testify about what God did for them. Stay with and me. He'll do the same for them. Amen. Yes, he will. Amen. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Bishop Prentice Thomas inviting you to our Miracle Monday Crusade at Christian Grove Center, 1200 North 41st Street. My God, in East St. Louis, Illinois, host Pastor Dr. Long. Service start at 6 p.m. Here are some testimonies to encourage you. My name is Eva Thomas, the wife of Bishop Prentice Thomas. God healed a condition in my neck. I had, um, I didn't have the C curve in my neck and that I am more than 60 years old and I'm still alive. God is, God has healed me. The bishop, he prayed for me and um, I just want to thank God because today I am, I'm pain free in my back area. Hello, my name is Elder Duan Gilmore. Bishop, I much prayed for me and God healed me from HIV and AIDS and I do have the paperwork to prove it and I do thank God for the miracle that God has performed in my body. If you have to hitchhike on a mosquito, borrow your daughter's skateboard, jump outside on a bumblebee. You need to be in this service. The number to call for more information is 314-261-4348. I'll see you there. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, The Christian Business Connection. I'm your host, Prophetess Nona Thomas, and friends, I want to tell you, we are just so excited as we are just days away from the upcoming 7th annual Sister Strut. Truly a phenomenal, phenomenal thing that is being done every single year right here in St. Louis. And we're so blessed to have on the program this morning, Mrs. Cheryl Jackson, who is the president of The Breakfast Club, and she's going to tell Tell us about how they have been been participating with this sister strut for seven years. So I'm so excited to have her on the program. Good morning, Mrs. Jackson. Good morning, Evangelist Thomas. You know, there's a question that I did not prep you on. But it's a question that I ask everyone who comes on the program. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is the day and we cherish every day. Every single moment, every, every single, moment. single moment and every single day. Yes, yes. Well, first, I want to just get to the foundation. Tell us about the Breakfast Club. Well, you know, um, 19 years ago, uh, the Breakfast Club started 
And uh, as a breast cancer survivor, I was at my five-year mark. And I just really felt like I heard a voice that said, you know, it's time for you to share. So I, I got up and uh, I went to the front. And when it came time for announcements, I asked the pastor if I could share something. And I shared at that time that I was, at, I was a breast cancer survivor, my five-year mark, and some of my uh, members knew. This was at Centennial Christian Church. Some of my members knew and some didn't. And as a result of that sharing, there were six women in the congregation who were survivors. But there was one young lady in her 30s who had just um, got diagnosed. And in, uh, people were telling her what she should do, how she should cope. And so I asked her if she would like it if I invited some other friends of mine who were survivors to breakfast. So it was just like four of us, myself, um, Faye Smith, and uh, another survivor, Barbara Davis. And so we met for breakfast, and that was a four-hour breakfast. So the young lady asked if she could um, meet us again the next month, and that's how it got started. And so about six months, we were up to about ten women, and we just decided that there was a reason for us to be together, and we could stay small and intimate, or we could have a bigger purpose, and we decided to try to have a bigger purpose. So that's how we got started. My goodness. You say that breakfast went for four hours? That breakfast was for four <laughs> hours at a restaurant. Oh, my. Oh, my. And truly, the Lord has blessed, and it's just grown and grown. And you've touched the lives of so many women. You know, what I have found, the, the, the just the information, uh, the awareness that you provide, it's invaluable, isn't it? It really is. And, you know, our community needs um, a lot of education, information, and um, services uh, that just help them to, to know about why it's important uh, to get mammograms like, you know, our Faith on the Move program. And uh, we started out with six churches. And we now are in 22, so it means we work with 22 pastors and 22 health ministries. And um, we bring the van to those churches so those women can get mammograms. Yes, yes. You know, uh, is there a statistic? Is, is there any way to, is there a statistic on how many women uh, have received that information or uh, as a result of the early testing? Well, we normally, with our, with our Faith on the Move program, mm -hmm. since we've started, we have done, we have made mammograms accessible to like over 4,900 women. Wow. And what's so unique about the program is that the ladies um, will, um, after they get their mammogram, they'll sign a letter that says we can call them. And so we check on, we call them, and we, we want to, you know, we ask them how their results were. And if their results were, uh, they have to go back for follow-up, we have what we call breast health buddies who are breast cancer survivors themselves. They will go with them for their follow-up. Now, if it ends up that they're diagnosed with breast cancer, mm -hmm. then we have a buddy program that will follow them for nine months through their cancer journey. That means contact them, call, you know, call them, go to the doctor with them, and just be a buddy for them yes. through that journey. Yes. I, w I would imagine that, you know, so many uh, feel like they're alone as they're going through right. this journey, but but you want to let them know that they're not. They're not right. their people who, who love them and who are caring and who actually have tangible resources that can be touched, right? That's right. That's right. And then the Breakfast Club, 90% of the women in the Breakfast Club are made of, of breast cancer survivors mm -hmm. and other forms of cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when we share, you know, like we may, one thing that, that makes us all, uh, ha we have common is that we are breast cancer survivors. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't matter if how educated or... What connects us is that we are survivors, and we're very passionate about sharing our stories and having women just do those preventive things that continue to um, 
you know, that, that continue to help them, like do their, you know, do their self-breast exam, although I know it's controversy about that, mm-hmm. get their doctors to do clinical breast exams, that's controversy about that, and getting that mammogram. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I had someone uh, say, you know, they asked, they said, well, does it hurt? Does the mammogram hurt? And she was she was hesitant because she thought she was going to be in pain by taking the mammogram, but that's not true. No, I always tell women, look, if you got a tight pair of jeans and you're trying to get in them and you're pulling them up and it's discomfort for a bit until you get them up there and get them zipped, you might feel you might feel a little discomfort, but you know now a lot of the vans have this three um, d mammogram, which is, is still a mammogram, but it takes additional views and it allows you even to see more uh, abnormalities than than you did before mm-hmm. um, so technology is improving, yes, but we as a community. We have to realize how important it is to to use those technologies. Yes, yes. And it's still very difficult in our community to get women to get their mammograms. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we you, keep we keep pushing. You do. You you are truly the Breakfast Club is steadfast, indeed, <laughs> indeed, and that is wonderful. And you know, isn't it gr- a great vision to be a part every year of Sister Strut and see the thousands of women who are participating in this walk? Isn't it something to watch? You know, I am so proud um, to participate with the Sister Strut, and and they also uh, provide a donation for us to continue our programs. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think in our community, we have to do everything we can to get um, the education, the information, and, um, and I also see a lot of younger women, too. Sometimes our community thinks just older women get breast cancer, but that's not true. No, right, right. Younger women also get breast cancer, and when they get it, a lot of times it's, it, they're diagnosed with triple negative, and it's very aggressive. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so I think our community is surprised when they see younger women mm-hmm. who are breast cancer survivors. Yes, yes. The, the, the camaraderie, the, 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 just the unity of the Sister Strut walk is just, it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And how the uh, breast cancer survivors are just embraced yes. and and loved on and you know every woman is walking uh perhaps for someone in their family for themselves you know for the whole cause so it's everybody coming together men too I men mean, it's too. just wonderful men too. yeah it's- men too they it's certainly not as prevalent as it is in women but we also do have men out there uh, you know, that are survivors. Mm-hmm. Uh, some are not as open because they look at it as this is a woman's disease and how did I get it? Mm-hmm. But, um, but you know, uh, the, the, um, it is out there. Yes. But it, the Sister Strut just, you know, puts a message out there and let's, let's uh, just like you said, whenever it occurs, I mean, I always end up hugging women I've never seen before, and you know, it's kind of a connection yes. that can happen right away. You're a yes. survivor, you're in a pink shirt, you're not wearing that pink shirt for fashion, but you're saying, I am a survivor, and you know, I'm, I'm on, no matter how many years you're out, because I'm 24 years out, you, you're saying, I'm a survivor, and I'm stronger than even I thought I was. Yes, yes. Now, I know we have people who are listening who would love to get more information about The Breakfast Club, perhaps how they can volunteer or how you can give them information for resources. So please tell us all of your contact information. Well, our, we have a um, uh, telephone number. It's 314-972-972. 8883. And that's, uh, you can call that number. We'll get in touch with you, talk to you, see what your needs are. If you want a buddy, we can match you up with a buddy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give us the number we, one more time, would you? 314-972-8883. Wonderful, wonderful. We have a website, and it's www.com. 
Breakfast Club with a dash after club, stl.org, and that talks about all of our programs, who we are. You can get in. You can contact us on the web, and we meet at Centennial Christian Church mm-hmm. once a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's 4950 Fountain. It's generally the third Saturday. Um, and then December, we have a Christmas seminar celebration where, um, where uh, our, our survivors can invite their families and come and hear many seminars. And, uh, and we're having a fundraiser in October called the Pink Posse Roundup for the Cure. <laughs> I and, love it. I and love it. And that's at St. Louis Gateway Classic, and uh, that's on Martin Luther King Drive. But when you call the number, we can we can uh, make sure you know about that too. Wonderful. You, you know, just God bless you, you and your staff and your volunteers on the wonderful work that you're doing in the lives of women. Thank you so much, Mrs. Cheryl Jackson, the president of Breakfast Club, for being a part of the program. Well, thank you, Evangelist Nona Thomas. I'm, I'm very honored that you asked me even to speak. And we will be out there and right there for the Sister Strut. That's right. Sister Strut. Sister October Strut. 1st, Saturday, October 1st. Thank you again. And thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning. This is Roxy Jones, your independent hair distributor with Peace of Mind Boutique, telling you to give her what she really wants, a peace of mind. I offer 100% Zen Remy Human Hair Extensions, as well as clip-ins, a multitude of other hair products, as well as wigs. Would you like to be an independent hair distributor yourself? Find out more on becoming a hair independent distributor by contacting the hotline 305-814-0891. That is my hotline. Again, that's 305-814-0891. You can also follow us on Instagram at peaceofmindhair13. That's at P-I-E-C-O-F-M-I-N-D-H-A-I-R-13. And Give yourself what you really want, a peace of mind, and achieve the look of a model without the cost. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophetess Nona Thomas. And friends, I tell you, I'm so excited as we're going to give you just a little taste of what you're going to get in the month of October from our October CBC Author of the Month. I was so excited when I spoke to this woman of God about really the the many books that she has written that God has just put in her spirit. But we're going to focus in on one that I believe that is going to be pivotal for every person who hears this program. And that is taking care of business information family members should know. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, the author of the month for October, Miss Lydia Douglas. Good morning, Miss Lydia. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I'm going to ask you a question that I did not prep you on, but I think you got it. And that question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes. Yes. And I do not take his blessings for granted. Yes. Every day. Every day. (laughs) Every day. (laughs) Are you rejoicing in it? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> wonderful, mm. wonderful. You know, uh, in, in talking with you, you know, the Lord has blessed you. are such an accomplished author. You have uh, published six books. Uh, we're going to be featuring book number four on our program in the month of October. And you got one that's hot on the presses. How do you do it? <laughs> I write, when the Lord placed something in my heart, I just start writing. And I only write what he wants me to write because I don't know what my tomorrows holds, but he holds my tomorrows. So if he want to reach his people through me, he is giving me what to write. 
and that's what I write. Yes, yes. Now, have you always been interested in being a writer? How did how did the first book come upon? You know what I'm saying? The first one came uh, uh, upon. Is I've always worked with the young people at my church, you know, teaching Sunday school and BTU and all. Uh, then when I had to come off my job for disability reasons, the Lord just told me to put all of that in a book. Mm-hmm. And I did, and that's how it all got started. Mm. And and the first three books are for their motivational books that I go to schools and youth churches wherever I can to motivate our young people. Yes. You know, and I tell young people exactly what I told my three sons, and they are all doing well. Amen. I I think you got a little experience in that then, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and truly from that first book it's just been an incredible journey. My goodness. Uh, I I thank God for you because I know that each book has may have its own challenges and and different things that you have to push through to to get to that last pinned word. Am I about right? You are correctly and I just like I say I just write what God plays in my heart to write. Because he wants me, the message that he wants me to get to, uh, whether it's young people, senior citizens, or whomever, that's the message that he wants me to get to them. And I only write what he wants me to write. Yes, yes. And I believe that um, uh, it's just so um for such a time as this, that we are uh, spotlighting and focusing on uh, your published work, book number four, um, taking care of business, information that family members should know. Uh, I am totally intrigued by by it because I really believe that this is information that every family should know you know when there's a when there's a loss uh, of your loved one uh, it's not the time that you ideally want to be scurrying around to find papers to do different things to um, you know in the process am I right you are exactly right and when my and I can use my experience Mm -hmm. when my husband of 39 years passed Every, all of my business was in order, all of everything, and all of my three sons, they are out of St. Louis. They are in Texas and Georgia. And when they got here, I had already started the process of my husband's service mm. and everything. I didn't have to wait for them to bring me not one dime. I mm-hmm. didn't have to ask anyone for not one dime. Everything was in order. Because I was obedient to what God told me to do. Hallelujah. And so what you're saying, preparation is the key. Yes. And, you know, we say to our kids, obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm. Had I not been obedient Mm. to what my heavenly father told me to do, I would not be in the position that I'm in today. Glory. And I do not take that for granted at all. Yes. And and I told the Lord, I said, you left me here for a reason. And if you want to reach your people through me and my testimony, then I'm available. Yes, yes. And he has, he has opened so many doors for me. And I always tell people, these are not my words, these are God's words, mm-hmm. because he was the one who told me what to do. Yes, yes. Ooh. And 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 what I what I love about it is, you know, uh, he's so wonderful. God is so great. He takes care of his people and he he requires he wants obedience when he yes. does speak. Yes, and that's he does. what you did. That's what you did. Mm-hmm. And then and and from that experience to pen this book, which I believe especially in the times, my lord, that we are in right now, mm. the timing mm. is perfect timing. And so what I wanted to do today was to talk to you to set the stage on how you're going to be with us every week in October talking about giving us steps the importance of this book and uh, in fact uh, just to even prelude it can you tell us where people can get copies of the book right now yes transformation christian bookstore that's on page and afro world that's on natural bridge mm-hmm and you can go on my website and, you know, I can send them to you because a lot of the bookstores have closed. But those two stores there, they have all of my books. Wonderful. What is mm-hmm. your website address? www.books, with an S, books, 
by b y lydia dot com. Wonderful books yes. by Lydia dot com. Yes. And actually, I've been to the website, and and so uh, not only can they um, order taking care of business information, family members should know. You have all of your published works there, and 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 we're we're anxiously waiting. And I won't ask you what the next book is about, but we know it's going to be <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be perfect for a time such as this as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it it is, and God told me. See, I, I do meditations at my church on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. We have the midweek service, and God just told me. In fact, two ladies, two of my church members, asked me, "Have you thought about putting those in a book?" Yes, I have. And I just <laughs> kept on. Then another one came, and then the Lord just said, "Put them in a book." Yes. Okay. Okay, and I put their their meditation, and the title of the book will be 40 Days of Meditation. We need to meditate on what God is saying. We really do. Yes. And when I'm writing those meditations, I put his word on me. It's, it's pers- I make it personal. It's me and God. <laughs> I know it. his word is for everyone. But when I'm studying his word, it's personal. Yes, it is. Yes, Ooh. it is. Well, mm. I, I, I can't wait. I, I, I've already jumped into the into the seventh book. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for that. Uh, but I do uh, appreciate. I'm so excited on the information that you're going to give um, our listeners through this month of October. I know it's a timely word. It's a it's a you know it's it's something that we all need to listen to and to prepare for. Mm-hmm. All right. And mm-hmm. so I want to thank you. I just wanted to give the folks a little taste that you're coming, all right, (laughs) in the entire month of October. So once again, uh, we can get your books by going online as well. Please give us that website again. Books with an S, books by Lydia, L-Y-D-I-A, dot com. Books by Lydia, dot com. Fantastic. You can see all six of them, and you just read little excerpts from all of them, mm-hmm. and I'm, if I can just say this, I am excited. I'm pleased that God chose me to use me to do his will. Hallelujah. I do not take God's blessing for granted at all because he could have used anybody else, hmm. but he chose to use me yes. to reach his people. Whew. Glory to God. You know what? I'll, yes. I'll close and, and say this. You know, what I mm. what I call us is uh, decorated dust. Glory to God. He uses <laughs> decorated dust like us. Bless his Ooh. holy name. And I, I'm grateful. Yes. I am grateful. Yes. And and you know what? We have that, that old saying, we, ha- we can't just talk the talk. We have to walk the walk. Surely. Surely. Mm. Well, mm-hmm. I, I thank you for walking down that walk. And <laughs> I appreciate you for being a part of the CBC radio show this morning. Morning, and we'll be talking to you through the month of October. Thank you. Bless you, Miss Lydia Douglas, the author for October, Taking Care of Business. Information family members should know. Bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you, and you do the same. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Bishop Prentice Thomas inviting you to our Miracle Monday Crusade at Christian Grove Center, 1200 North 41st Street. My God, in East St. Louis, Illinois, host Pastor Dr. Long. Service start at 6 p.m. Here are some testimonies to encourage you. My name is Eva Thomas, the wife of Bishop Prentice Thomas. God healed a condition in my neck. I had, um, I didn't have the C curve in my neck and that I am more than 60 years old and I'm still alive. God is, God has healed me. The bishop, he prayed for me. And um, I just want to thank God because today I am, I'm pain free in my back area. Hello, my name is Elder Duane Gilmore. Bishop, please come and pray for me and God heal me from HIV and AIDS. And I do have the paperwork to prove it. And I do thank God for the miracle that God has performed in my body. If you have to hitchhike on a mosquito, borrow your daughter's skateboard, jump outside on a bumblebee, you need to be in this service. The number to call for more information is 314-261-4348. I'll see you there. 
Friends, haven't we had a wonderful time as always right here on the CBC Radio Show? Friends, thank you for listening to the CBC Radio Show today. I want to thank all of my guests. They're fantastic. Thank you for being a part of the program. Thank you for listening all over the world. As always in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.